Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Last time we did some mini games. this time we're gonna go into our Zen Garden because we have found, or I have found while I was playing Whack-A-Zombie off screen, a little mushroom and if you remember Whack-A-Zombie is actually a night level so that's why the mushroom came out because it was a nighttime plant and a nighttime level. However, hopefully maybe this time we'll, we'll be able to, well that was a waste. Uh, we'll be able to show off uh, the music playing for the plants. Uh, apparently not. Come on, someone, someone needs it. No, no, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Also, you may have noticed that I got a little bit of more money, or yeah, a little bit more money in between episodes. There we go. So yeah, and it just does the same thing that ha would happen if you do the bug spray. So we'll go ahead and do that. If this guy wants it, then we'll give him music. If he wants bug spray, I kind of don't want to spend money on bug spray right now. Oh my god, how much do you need to? Oh yeah, also, um, notice how it's not going to grow anymore since it's not in the right habitat. Uh, once you unlock the nighttime garden, then you'll be able to grow it to full size. Nah, it doesn't want it. All right, so we'll go to the shop and see what we can buy with this money. I'm not going to buy anything for the Zen garden right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy another rake. Mmm, what, what, what can we really buy that matters at all? Not really much, actually. We don't have that much left to buy. I guess we'll buy spike rocks. That'll become useful. That gives us 18 left. That's, there's nothing I want to buy. I mean, I guess we'll buy golden watering can. So basically what that does is it'll water four plants at once. So that's all that is. Just makes it a little bit easier. All right, so let's do Bob's Lead Bonanza. Bonanza, however you want to say it. So as you can see, we have Zambonis and we have bobsled teams. You basically want to make a defense according to these two, because as you can see, the defense or the offense of the zombies isn't too strong otherwise. Uh, and you don't really need much at all for these two rows because they're water. Zambonis can't go in water. So of course we're going to want jalapenos. We're going to want wa lots of one-hit kills. Explosions, sunflowers, of course. Um, actually, you know what? We can show off our newly acquired spike rock, because that'll just destroy these guys. A spike rock, the difference between spike rock and spike weed is that spike rock can destroy um, pops multiple tires, three tires exactly. Every single one of the spikes will disappear for everything that runs over it, as of spike weed can only do one vehicle. So there you go. We're going to want at least a little bit of defense. Uh, I say pea shooters will probably be enough for that. But otherwise, I think we'll be fine. Maybe walnuts at the very least. I mean, I don't see us needing any more than two pea shooters per row. Um, let's rock. Okay. Um, you know what? We don't need walnuts, if anything. So let's do this. As always, plant our sunflowers first. Also, notice how it starts out with this. You're going to want to jalapeno those as fast as possible, which is why we will be building up these sunflowers really quickly, like we always do, though. What's different? Um, we will be putting out our sunflowers as fast as possible to get enough money to jalapeno the rows. Of course, uh, bobsleds can go on them uh, without a Zamboni even needing to pave the road. So be wary of that. We will take caution. Um, we've seen bobsleds before though, so I don't think I need to explain any of that. So at the time of me recording this episode, uh, I'm actually moving out of my dorm in the next, oh, already? You know what, we'll go ahead and jalapeno that row. Get rid of everything at once, including the Zamboni. But of course we can't live that well, can we? Spike weed actually costs quite a bit. So we'll get enough for a squash, and we will squish this guy. Actually, if we can, yeah. Put the squash there, that'll get rid of him. That's all we need right now until our jalapeno recharges. And of course, we basically got this row done with now. We'll go ahead and put spike rock on top of it to fortify, and basically this row shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it doesn't do any extra damage to um, zombies walking on top of it, if you were wondering. Oh, what can we do to this guy? I guess build up for... Ah, we'll just put spike weed right there, why not? Go ahead and put a sunflower there, because we definitely need to make mon or make uh, sun a lot faster. 
Actually, we could have just done another uh, squash. But hey. Oh, look at this. Boom! And it's not even done yet. Oh, wait. It can take more than three. Interesting. So we'll go ahead and jalapeno that row. Put spike weed right there. We're not even seeing any normal zombies yet, so that's a good sign. Don't even have to worry about uh, any of the pea shooter stuff. Uh, we'll put squash there. Spike weed is more valuable. Spike rock. These rows are now no longer a problem. Permanently. It's pretty great. Now we just wait to put up stuff. I'll go ahead and put this here. Uh, actually, I want to blow that up with a cherry bomb. Because this is going to run down. And I want to blow them up. Ah, uh, we'll let them walk a little close. Oh, actually, jalapeno would be really nice to have. Come on. Boom! Get as many of them as possible. Uh, bobsleds actually all count as one zombie, so you'll be able to easily take care of that if you get them all at once. Go ahead and put that there. This should be the only problem, however, since we don't have jalapenos or anything of that kind of stuff. What are we going to do? Go ahead and put that there. Mm, this will take care of quite a bit of them. Go, yeah, do that. That'll hurt them really fast, but it won't take care of them completely. Spike rock that there. I'm just waiting for... Ah, uh, we want to stop this guy. Oh, jeez. What do? You know what? That bottom row can go. I don't care. We'll just work on fortifying everything else at the moment. Making sure that they don't get through. Actually, we have enough for a jalapeno. You stop that. You stop that right now. Alright, so now the bottom has had its fair share of difficulty. Go ahead and do that. Get enough for a spike rock. And then put the spike rock out. Nope, nope. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Spike rock. Or spike weed, at least. Okay, we're going to have to put another spike weed there. But these three rows, all of these rows are doing quite nicely. Uh, we'll put another spike weed. Oh no, it's going to run over it. Jeez, this isn't going too well. We really need to cover the bottom row. Like, permanently. Spike weed. We also need to cover these guys. Come on, give me my spike rock. That's what I want. I need to permanently cover this bottom row. Alright, let's do it. That's taken care of. Kill this guy. Oh, jeez. This is impossible. What can we afford? Ah, uh, whatever. No! Get out of here. Now we need to take care of this guy. This guy's gonna die. Nice. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, no. I can't. Boom. Yep, so we didn't pay atten enough attention to the normal zombies, obviously. So, uh, actually, that's a problem that I don't think I'll actually have to fix. Because we should be fine. Uh, we have two more... Two more things to go. Go ahead and put this right here. And honestly, another spike weed could do right here. That'll knock out all zombies that come and try and do anything. Actually, we could just focus on only putting out spike weed. That would actually work. This needs... The, the water rows are definitely a problem. Uh, we'll do this here. We can't. Now we can. Take care of that all together. This is not... That's not going to work. That's going to have to go for now. So, goodbye that row. Uh, I want to put a pea shooter here cover this. I want to make sure nothing gets through here anymore. Uh, all of our spike rocks are hold holding up just fine. I'm going to put another pea shooter right here because that's the row that we definitely need to fortify until the end. Okay. Now I'm just going to focus on putting up all these pea shooters because that is our main problem at the moment. I probably would have definitely been well off with some walnuts actually. So I'm kind of regretting not putting that up. Uh, uh, that row will be fine. 
and just put up more pea shooters. And that should cover it just fine. Actually, boom, I think we're set. I think we're pretty set with this. I'm just gonna grab a bit of money for TSPPs on these last few big waves. Because I know the water levels are still gonna, or the water rows are still gonna be a problem. Sorry about water levels, I still have my mindset in Mario 64. Of course, nothing's getting through here. They still have two more spikes. I do think we are going... Uh, let's go ahead and put another one here. Because we got the money. Actually, are the water rows going to be a problem? Go ahead and refortify. You cannot do that. Alright, well, before anything becomes a problem, let's go ahead and replace the spike rock right there. Bing, bang, boom! We have a replace spike rock. We never. We also need to replace the spike rock on top, but that's going to take a while, so we're going to let that run out first. Let's put spike weed here. Year. Uh, looks like the water rows are holding out just fine. I'm gonna put another row of uh, pea shooters to cover that so that never becomes a problem. That would be pretty great. And boom! That should cover it. Actually, just fine. Still need to replace that top one. Doesn't look like it's running out yet. Oh, that got rid of the second spike there. Also there. So those will be running out soon, hopefully not while things are happening. You know what? Go and blow it up. Actually, it probably would have just been fine. We have enough. So go ahead and replace the top, because that's the weakest right now. Oh, I missed a coin! Uh, this is the final wave, so we just need to make sure we protect that row and that row. And then we should be fine. I think we're good, though. I think we'll hold off just fine. Yeah, yeah, we win. GG, bros. GG. You had no chance. Get rid of these two, because they'll take the longest to die. Um, Come on, Lilypad. Don't want to wait for the one guy to die. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, well, that wasn't too much of a problem. Get another diamond, and that'll serve us well. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but we still have Pogo Party. That's going to be sad times. Let's do it. All right, so Pogo Party, as you can guess, lots of Pogo Zombies. So, tall nuts galore. Luckily, there's no ladders, so we'll be fine in that department. Um, we definitely want to grab this. We'll grab kernel and cabbage. We'll definitely want pumpkins. We definitely want the ways to uh, shut these guys down, though, and they're going to be coming out pretty quickly. The tall nuts are, are, gonna, are gonna be... Uh, this would be a great time to have the imitator, but we do not have it. So we're just gonna have to go without... Actually, do umbrella leaves get rid of these? No, they don't. Cherry bombs, uh, jalapenos... We don't need too much power, we just need to stop them. So that's what we will... Oh, you know what we will do? We will get sunflowers, that's probably a good idea. And we're set all the way back here. Of course, we still have our rake. So happy times for us. And we get to hear the roof level music again. We haven't done this since uh, Call em, Call em How You See Em, I think. So yeah, welcome back, great music. All right, so when are they gonna start coming? Because the tall nuts I definitely wanna get done as soon as possible, probably before everything else. Yeah, they're coming a little late. I think they're gonna start off with pogos. That's kind of sad. Of course, the first one will die, and we'll put a tall nut on the spot where the second pogo zombie starts coming. And then we'll work from there. Of course, with how long tall nuts take to charge, that may or may not be a problem. We'll go ahead and put the tall nut row there. Okay, more sunflowers. We're definitely going to want... Actually, we're going to go ahead and put our tall nuts out. Yep, they're starting with pogos. That's the first thing we're seeing. We should have put out that tall nut a lot sooner, though. Oh, look. Lucky us. Cabbage Pult. Uh, I want another Sunflower. There we go. We shouldn't need too much power behind these tall nuts. All tiny zombies. Not a big problem. More pots, because we need pots. Pot is good. Uh, spread that around. Come on, tall nut. I want to put you out as soon as possible. 
Ah, perfect, right there, in the row. Uh, actually, will we be good enough? Yeah, this will be fine. I was thinking maybe have another row behind him. But we should be fine. We need to cover this row. Go ahead and take a corn. Once again, we're going to go with the infamous checkerboard pattern for our offensive catapults here. Go ahead and put this there. Oh, oop, 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 Yep, we're gonna squash it. Not gonna deal with that right now. Gonna go ahead and cover this row. Oh no, it's going on the bottom. Of course, where else would it go? Um, we might have to go with the jalapeno there. It's gonna happen. Boop, none of your, none of your shenanigans. Now, okay, now it's coming on that row. This guy's still working on this one. We're going to make sure we cover all of our rows with catapults at the very least, because that's what we want. Come on, I'd love another Tall Nut right now. As you can see, Tall Nuts are basically God here. Uh, I'm going to take a risk and put it there. No, oh, it's coming on another row that we've already seen. Okay, well, you know what? Go ahead and double up on that row for catapults. We'll get rid of this row if we need to have more offensive, but it doesn't look like we're going to because their offense is looking pretty weak right now. Oh, butter. Butter, too strong. Okay, looks like the bottom row is not going to get attacked for a while. And if it does, we have a squash to take it, take it down. Go ahead and put the cabbage there. And we'll bring out the corn soon after. Oh, for those who don't know, I, I mentioned earlier how I'm moving out really soon. Uh, I'm actually stockpiling videos right now for the couple of days uh, where I'm settling down into Texas. And I won't have chance to a chance to uh, record anything. So stockpiling. I've already got two Kaizo videos, uh, although very very inefficient Kaizo videos. In one video, I only get two stars, and the other I get one. And I kind of feel bullshitted out of it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, not too much going on. Other than that, well, I shouldn't say not too much going on because that's actually a lot in itself. I mean, I'm moving back home for the summer and it's gonna be great here come the nub zombies i'm not sure if butter stops pogos it does not so yeah you definitely want to rely on tall nuts as much as you can i'd say we have a good amount of sun here let's go ahead and put up a third row of offense because we're gonna need it uh unluckily this is not plants vs zombies 2 where you get a refund in sun when every time you every time you pick up a plant because that's also a thing that happens uh we're getting this third row of offense out really fast all right there you go uh, of course our tall nuts are holding up well we'll go ahead and fix that guy because he was hurting a little and i say we should be just fine these poco zombies almost aren't even getting to the, uh, the tall nut i shouldn't say that they're very well getting into the tall nut but whatever in fact, you know what? We could put up a, a thing of offense right here if we really had to. Because no zombies are going to come up and eat that. Well, I guess the very few normal zombies that there are, are will. You know what? We don't need it. Now we sit back and relax. Throw out any TSPPs as needed. And we'll stockpile our sun for whenever we do. And yeah, this defense is definitely going to hold out. Other than the fact that they can jump over all your other plants, Pogo Zombies can't stand up at all to Tall Nets. They move really fast though, so keep that in mind. Alright, so we still have two flags to go here. Not sure how much harder it's going to get than this. I'm not sure how he's bouncing with one arm. Uh, Pogo Stick's just bouncing on a Pogo Stick with two arms is difficult. However, uh, jump roping, that is my specialty. Pogo Stick, nope, can't do it. Wait. Do their pogo sticks actually get damaged the more you hurt the zombie? That's actually a nice little tidbit of a stuff. Also, uh, you know what I should be talking about right now? E3. We have plenty of time to talk about it here. So, games that I'm excited for. Uh, first off, Yoshi's Wooly World. I cannot wait for that. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool if I had a Wii U. That would also be pretty good. Um, Kirby's whatever it is, uh, it's the sequel that's like Canvas Curse, except it's on the Wii U and it looks like clay. I'm excited for that. Uh, Mario Maker, uh, even though there's like a ton of Flash games on the internet that's like that, 
Uh, it's nice to see an official version of it, so that's coming out. Uh, they're doing a Toads... Uh, I don't know. I, I forgot what it's called. Captain Toads something. But it's basically a bunch of levels like the ones that were on uh, Mario 3D World. Except it's its own game now. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, what else? Uh, Smash Bros, obviously. Uh, sadly, Smash Bros for the 3DS got delayed to October from June. Or it's June or July release date. I think it was July. So that's kind of sad, but no big deal. I want them to send out a pretty good game that's been worked on. So that's good. Um, the release date for Smash Bros. Uh, for Smash Bros. Wii U remains uh, the holiday season of 2014. So we'll be, we'll be getting both of those this year. We've finally seen in-game footage, uh, other than the Groudon and Kyogre thing, uh, of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So that's pretty good. L looking forward to that, no doubt. I mean, it's my favorite region. That's obviously why I did the game first in Let's Plays, which I still need to finish, actually. I might do that today, actually. I just need to do the pyramid and then one more video after that and we're good. Go ahead and replace that with Tall Nut. Okay, what else did they announce? Not really announce. Oh, there's this really cool uh, squid game that's like a third-person shooter, I think. It looks really competitive. It's basically Squid Girl the game, if I were to equate it to anything. I mean, it's... I don't know. You shoot ink at people to beat them. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Hmm. I think it was Microsoft that announced this really cool zombie killing game called Overdrive Sunset or Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive, that's what it's called. They announced that. That one looks really good and really cool. It actually has like a more cartoony style, similar to a lot of the Wii U games. Uh, I'm not sure if it's um, actually Microsoft that announced it though. So whatever, we'll go ahead and blow these guys up because why not, we have the power. Oh, we have more than enough of the power. I'll put this here and uh, blow these guys up. And we'll, uh, we'll do nothing. Uh, but yeah, E3 was really good this year. Definitely a good time to be a Nintendo fan. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the coming years. Also, the new Zelda was announced. Well, not announced, but we saw some footage. It, we, it doesn't have a name yet. Uh, and uh, we saw Link's face, though. That's the important thing, even though they say it's... Uh, they didn't exactly say it was Link, but I'm pretty sure it's Link. So yeah, we got all that. Zelda game looks really cool. And to end it off, is there anything that I want to buy with 10,000? I don't think there is. Yeah, I think I'll stick with what I have. So, join us next time when we do the next game of survival. We'll leave off that last mini game. We'll leave that off until later. So, I'll see you all then, and goodbye.